<laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am proud to present to you Kim Gregoli, Maria Rystrom, Beth Herbrock, Carrie Bellog, Renee Dorsky. They are Mama Drama, and today they dropped their very first single, MILF Moms in Leather Forever. Find it on Spotify, Bandcamp, MamaDramaBand.com. Find it, go head over to Linktree, uh, check it out. Um, but congratulations, I present to you all the way from New Jersey, Mama Drama, everybody. <laughs> Hi. I was like, wait, we're in New Jersey? <laughs> My brain is so mushy right now. <laughs> it's okay. Congratulations, guys. This is a this is a pretty huge day. Um I, I mean I don't know what it was like when uh you know Robert Plant Jimmy Page dropped uh you know Led Zeppelin one. It's the same. Or Oh, yeah. <laughs> the same. Uh, but that, I mean, this is this is a huge step in a journey, in a, in a very long journey. Hopefully, um, I've seen you perform this song live uh, many times um, in, in a live setting at live concerts, and uh, I, it, it just made me beyond happy to pull it up on Spotify today and hear a fully produced version. So, uh, congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for it. Um, I mean, I think we've gone over the history of Mama Drama uh, several times, but, but for anybody, for any first time viewers or listeners, uh, uh, Mama Drama is a band. I, does anybody want to go through the origin story really quickly? Who wants to go? <laughs> Carrie, take it away. Okay, okay wait, Carrie. Um, the year was 2015, and um, <laughs> we uh, actually in a were world. at um, Lake House Music Academy in Asbury Park. Our kids were taking lessons there. And it became a joke, like, you guys should start a mom band. We were just hanging out in the halls and joking around. And uh, next thing you know, we, you know, they got us a practice um, session together. And we showed up. We met uh, each other that night. And actually, Renee and I lived together in um, Brooklyn. So we, we knew each other. But that was, you know, how it started, November 2015. And uh, it just continued every single week from that day forward. That's amazing, and uh, I know you guys started playing, started out playing covers because that's why you get into this. You want to, you know, you want you want to rock out like your favorite artist. Uh, and um, at your live shows, you were doing covers. Uh, how? Oh, hey, we got a video. What's up? <laughs> uh, with you know, playing covers are fun. Um, how long into the process were, did you like? Where's the origin of doing an original song? Do you remember the first day you were like, we should do an original? We uh. Mm -hmm. We should. Yeah, we were ready. We've been doing covers for so long, and we, I feel like we progressed enough to where we were able to like learn a song and one practice to where we thought we should just start writing our own stuff. And um, how did how did MILF originate? Do you remember? Uh, <laughs> did it? Um, was it? A lot of the stuff I start out with, uh, you know, that that a lot of stuff uh, I do starts out as a joke, and then. It snowballs into into reality, uh, which snowballs into something bigger. Um, did it? I don't know. Did it start around a, a rehearsal? Uh, did did somebody come up with a lyric? This was definitely Carrie's baby in the beginning. I think. Well, I think we ha we have a big whiteboard in our practice room, and I think we wrote it on the board, thinking it was like funny. It would be like a social okay, media thing. Yeah, I was trying to think <laughs> like M I L F, and then you know we always talk about. Um, you know, how we want to um, get out there and uh, escape the everyday um, mom things. And so um, it just was up there on the whiteboard. And then all of a sudden, I think we just realized, let's just make it a song. Well, I think I remember, we always talked about it, like, yeah, because like what, what we were, what we were doing. But I think I remember, maybe I'm, I'm not, like Carrie wrote like a bunch of lyrics and then Beth took them and then like change some of the lyrics and fit it. And like, it just kind of organically came And I think, yeah, it was, it was, it's, I mean, the song itself is, it's like joyful and fun and about just going out and having a great time. Like it is a, like a, a parody, but it's right. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. That's yeah, my, my feeling about it. Too, is that there's been a couple of, you know, iterations of mama drama. And since we all got back together and we, kind of had this set going. We had a list of some covers that were fun to play and we felt kind of, you know, confident and had a really good time with them. 
But I think we started getting to the point where the covers weren't covering it. And we felt like we had more to say. We had been getting together and really kind of coming up with our own sound a little more consistently. And I think that it, it was just a matter of time that we started feeling like we could express ourselves and had a lot of thoughts and just had more confidence. And I think this song came from um, just having a blast playing out together and having more to say. I think that's kind of, I feel like that was like the launch for this one. It, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a song from the heart. I know it's something that you, you all relate to, uh, milk stands for moms and leather forever. So uh, you are all, uh, <laughs> Uh, I mean, you're, you're teachers, entrepreneurs, restauranteurs, um, you know, badass women uh, who also rock. And uh, <laughs> like, ah! I think I've seen all of you in some iteration of leather as you're rocking out. In a, in a concert. So it's very, um, uh, it, it's very you. Uh, but the, um, the, and, and the song I described you guys perfectly, I think, which is, I think why I love it so much. So, and uh, I, it, I mean, for me, I, I like I, I, I love watching my friends rock out on stage. Um, yeah, I think for for me, like that for us is well for me, the song was always just like high energy, having a great time. Like, yeah, we, I mean, we dress up. We, it's about the performance. It's like the escape. Like performance is an escape, you know, and it's escape from the like mundane and it's just. Not ta uh, for me, like now, it's like wasn't ever taking ourselves seriously. It was just like everyone was right. having fun. Like this is, you know, it's past bedtime. <laughs> right. It has plenty of yeah. camp. it has plenty of camp in it. I feel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like you, so many times you have that mom vibe that you're just like that's who you become when you're a mom and people just view you and you just have your, you know, responsibilities and all the things that you have to do. And I think for us too, like getting together. And having our practice is like our time and that and that's so important and i think for us mm -hmm. just having fun and being able to go out and do our thing and you know that song is kind of dedicated to all of that like that <laughs> for us yeah i think it's very ins inspirational as well so for anybody who doesn't know uh between the five years i think you have 11 kids yeah yeah and uh and kim's a teacher like you guys are around kids constantly <laughs> yeah, sure i'm behind this Computer. Right now. <laughs> I had to laugh in my ear. Sit on them right now. <laughs> and uh, if you look behind Kim, she's literally got a whiteboard back there. Like she's uh, right in front of Number of the day. <laughs> what, uh, what was the number of the day today? Kim. <laughs> today is the 8th. Today is May 8th. So the number of the day is 8th. And then we create it in different ways. And we, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I think that one of the most valuable things that we have all stated at some time or another and probably feel it in varying degrees right now more than ever is that we're all so grateful that we found each other. Especially, you know, it's, it's kind of odd being our age and having full-time jobs and having kids that we love and um, take care of. And a lot of moms, you know, will spend whatever spare free time they can carve out. Um, you know, is it exercising? Is it running errands? And the fact that we make time every week to get together and just rock out, we thought was kind of yeah. badass. <laughs> and I think this song was this kind of funny ode and celebration of that fact that we just have been making time for years just to get together and like scream, let it all out for a little while, you know? <laughs> it's hard and we all know that like so many times we're dragging and it's so tough and you know, you, you got a million things going on, but we get together and it's just like this weight, you know? And it's so important, you know, to do that, I think, to yeah. find yeah, us. I don't know how you guys find how you guys do it to to work to be mothers and write an anthem and, uh, <laughs> and, and, an anthem and record an anthem. <laughs> uh, um, does anyone remember re uh, like the first lyric written? Hmm. Um, let's see. I, I thought this song came from like Carrie wrote like a whole slew of lyrics. Didn't she begin with it and then Beth, you took it and like. Mm -hmm made it into, since Beth's the lead singer, she made it into her own, so yeah. she really, you know? That's yeah. what I remember, right? Yeah, yeah, it was, it, I think it was like, a, um, 
there were, I took a picture for social, like dads in leather, and I wrote dads in leather, and someone wrote, oh, that's such a cool band name. And then I was like, oh, Dill. I always think of Dilf. Like, leather, so I'm like, oh, D-I-L. I'm like, oh, Dilf. And then oh I was like, oh, mom's in leather. I'm like, oh my, God, that's it, you know? And then, um, and then I, you know, I was taking some songwriting lessons at Lake House as well um, with uh, Joe from Jackson Pines. So he contributed to the song. And then we had Rich Cahill who, who helped us along the journey too. And, I, and Beth wrote you know, the rest of the lyrics and everyone just came together. It was just, um, you know, all of us together. And it was just at once just magical. Yeah, I feel like that song came so quickly to, you yeah. know what I mean? Like once yeah. we started writing it, it kind of flew out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did it did it take long from, you know, the first time you played it to refine it into its final version? Um, uh, a lot of my favorite bands, uh, you hear these lost like studio versions that sound nothing like the finished version. <laughs> it took a long time for them to get to that. Uh, was there a long process of revision or did you, do you think you got it immediately? I, I, I don't think we played that one out so much. Like we really had a, of course it's different when you go into studio. That was the first time we've ever been in like a, well, I've ever been in a studio and it is way different, you know, but yeah. we had played it out so much. And I think we always were fine tuning it and tweaking it with that. You know, I don't know. I feel like the vibe of the song the like the real essence of the energy was there from the beginning. I don't think that part changed, but I do think Renee's right. The more we played it out, there's little things that we changed and tweaked and we had a lot of, of you know, just help and suggestions too and different ways that we could kind of just craft the song, you know, being like the first song that we wrote, even just, you know, how to, how to craft it in the different parts and um, yeah, the dynamics. We're all the dynamics, the dynamics. Um, but we wanted it to kind of have this like driving punk fun feel. And I think that was there from the beginning, but like anything, the more we play it out, the, you know, the, the better we would get or more confident or we would camp it up or I would thrash around more, you know I mean? I think we got more comfortable in it with it and maybe it kind of, you know, grew a little bit there, but I feel like the energy was always there from the beginning. Uh, I, I, I love, I, I love hearing you belt it out. You can you can just scream into that <laughs> mic and uh, you can, uh, you can feel all the, uh, not angst, but all the, uh, all the emotion. <laughs> I mean, wait, wait till we play it out. I mean, this song is that particular song I think is, I mean, it's great when you stream it, but I mean, live is a, such a fun song to play because it's all about like getting everyone involved. It's like high energy. I mean, you talk about angst. Wait till we play it out next. <laughs> <laughs> Months of stand up mom angst. I feel like Woo! I know. The energy from the crowd, even from when we first started playing it, yes. it was awesome. Yeah. It always just felt like it felt right. It just felt. Oh, can we get yeah. people like slam dance? Probably after all this. Uh, <laughs> Everyone being like, houses, they're gonna be like, eh. I, I've never been in a mosh pit. I'm, you know, I'm a little too old for that now, even when I'm younger. But um, <laughs> if that happens, I'm jumping in. I feel like a MILF mosh would work. I think that <laughs> would. Appropriate song and genre. I think that could work. We could make that happen. If I hear <laughs> that, get nasty, I think it would get. <laughs> if I hear there's something called a MILF pit, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely, I don't, I don't. yep, <laughs> get here first, MILF pit. <laughs> but I think when people were like singing it back, like M I L F in the crowd, we were like, what? Like, oh my God, it doesn't it already? That was amazing. We had no idea they would sing it back. Oh, yeah, I, I, it's. Yeah, it's that. I, that's just what you do when you find yeah. a song you love and you hear your favorite <laughs> band playing it live. Yeah, you yell it back. I mean, we've all been there. You know? And it's uh, simple. And, uh, I I I think that's cool. That um, uh, does it feel cool to be songwriters as well as I? I remember um looking at liner notes for my favorite albums, and you know, uh, you know, song written by you know R. Plant and J. Page or like you know K. Richards and M. Jagger. Like that's you guys now. Like you guys are the good songwriters. It was um, exciting you know, today know. to pull it up on. <laughs> I don't know. It was cool. It was, you know, and 
I, I thought it was exciting. First, I couldn't get it. Was it working? And then there's more too. This is yeah. just the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. There's uh, more. <laughs> a lot more. Yeah, that was that's uh well I I'm going to ask you about that later but um how long uh, when did you get it when did you guys first get in the studio to record this? When November? It was November, I think. Mhm. Yeah. We, we had a plan yeah. to release it earlier but then everything had happened so we, we pushed it you know till now. <laughs> yeah, but the first studio the first studio session was back in November? Yeah, November. Yeah. And Maria was very instrumental in that um yeah, to record it so and produce. That was a huge learning curve for all of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think it was really fun and we were very twinkly star eyed. <laughs> and I think that we have been told by other musicians that, yeah, you kind of it's addictive for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and Maria did. Yeah, you did a lot of heavy lifting and she. Yes. Um, yeah, we just we learned a lot. I think it was it was really fun. We had um, a lot of good advice and good support, and yeah, we're ready to go back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this would have been actually the time we were planning on being back in the studio. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I, you'll be back as long as uh, the next time is legally when it's legally possible. <laughs> <laughs> You're allowed to be back. Uh, you'll be back. What, what 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 was the experience like? I guess uh, so. I I think I saw some clips of you guys laying down your separate tracks, which was pretty cool. Um, you know, in my head, I only know from what I've seen in clips of you know, like Led Zeppelin. There's there's like groupies and there's they're smoking cigarettes. Yeah, and, uh, exactly like, like that. Shit, you got oh, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or people everywhere. Lots of drugs. I, you were told to get a curse. Remember that? It was very very. Yeah. <laughs> Keep it very clean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, well, my favorite part was like I think well was like the gang vocals when we all got to like sing together. Like that was really fun. Yeah. I, that was that was my favorite part of all of that. And then that's what actually that changed too because after that we're like oh we should do that at shows you know like we should sing together. <laughs> what a concept. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that was actually only a half day of recording too so we weren't even there that long yeah we weren't there like all day long it was kind of like a half day thing okay and, and um yeah some bands spend days and days and weeks and camp out and yeah we I had had to go back and do the drums just because i had trouble playing to a click track at first i wasn't expecting it to be so hard but it it was <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was a tough thing to learn really quickly with, with a limited amount of time. And again, with, you know, with, with working kids and everything else going on to carve out time to get in a studio together and to be able to feel really comfortable and confident when, you know, we're used to playing out and the energy of the crowd and seeing each other and jumping around. And yeah, it's really different when you're isolated in a booth and you're breaking all the sounds <laughs> down and, um, yeah, I I'm proud of us yeah. for figuring it all out mm -hmm. in just a few hours. <laughs> yeah. Um. So wait, did you uh did you say you recorded all this in one session? Uh huh. Yes. Wow. Oh, that's amazing. We yeah. were ready. We get shit done. <laughs> Mom's get shit done. We time. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a lot of time. We uh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're efficient. We're, we're very efficient. efficient. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh -huh. awesome. Well, I, I mean, I know, and I know studio time is not cheap either. So, um, <laughs> yeah. right. that's right. We took it out of their college education. <laughs> yeah, but when you hit it big soon after this, you then you'll be able to put it back. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. it, it, you're not taking the money, you're investing the money. It's an investment. That's a good way to look at it, Ming. I like that. Yes. <laughs> Future investments. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Um, so do you, you remember the first time you heard the, the finished product, the Prudus version, and how you felt? Yeah. I, I was excited. Cool. I, was really I was in the car. I was in the car. Yeah. Standing on the steering wheel and blasting it. <laughs> yep. And then the windows were down, and I'm like, oh, yeah. my God. Like, I'm, like, stopped at a red light. I was like, looking at the person next to me. I'm like, yeah. you don't know anything about this yet. <laughs> you just like, <laughs> 
that that's awesome. I think that's a feeling that most people want to feel, but you know, they can't. I I don't play an instrument. I'm not in a band. I would I would love to experience that one day. But if uh if I can't if it's not me, I'm glad it's you guys. Like it's <laughs> that uh yeah, that's um <laughs> That's pretty amazing. And uh, so you guys said you're all hooked. Like you're all, you're dying to get oh, back. Yes. To the studio. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Much like um, many I, other. I, just, I can't wait to be able to, to practice all the ladies. I miss my ladies. I know. I miss you guys. Hard. You know, we're going from once a week for years to nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. I know. Um, I've heard a lot of bands are trying to do it like this, like online, but you can't sync everything up. It's. Yeah. It, pretty it's almost impossible I wish we like all quarantined together from like originally i know, I know. That's what we, should have. we would have been making like amazing stuff. i know <laughs> um so do you do you have a song that you want to record next uh, i know you have a song called side bush when i'm a i'm a huge fan of i didn't know if that was next or if you had something up uh that you were able to reveal it's gonna be real big after all this i know it's like the perfect time i know <laughs> you might have to change the order of things and do that one it's gonna yeah be, it's gonna be full bush <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I believe all the waxing salons have, uh, are not allowed to be open as well. So, oh, <laughs> that's amazing. Is know, there, remember uh, Easy Target? Have yeah. You remember that song? Yeah, Easy playing Target. playing live. Me? Yes. Oh yeah, that was, I, think I think that was our next song we were going to record in April. We were supposed to. <laughs> yeah. It's a great political song, you know, for it's still relevant. <laughs> yes, yeah. very relevant. And um, if that one works out, uh, you know, is there possibly an album in you in in you guys? Or is there a possibility of an album coming out sometime? Sometime. I think we're getting up there, right? With yeah, we're there. Our, we have like four original. more, right? Originals four. Mm -hmm. oh, we have, oh my god! I don't even know. <laughs> I know. I, <laughs> we were we were we had so much momentum. Yeah, and we were like so ready to like write and yeah you know get more m kind of like get rid of the the cover most of the covers and just have a full set of originals but it's difficult now i we think once back, into it. back in together i you think you just try to write like this or something i don't know how people do it <laughs> you know, i don't know we'll see what happens yeah we'll, we'll get there I think all of us feed so much off of each other when we're in a room together, just the energy of each other. And that it, with, uh, so far, like our writing, pro a lot of it's organic, you know, and then we take it, try it, this, uh, you know, I feel so inspired when I'm in the room with, with all of. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think we'll all come back with all sorts of, um, yeah, really interesting. <clears throat> creative inspiring ideas we'll see how we can mash oh. that up <laughs> i'm a a cat but she ran away <laughs> and uh, uh you know who knows if you do put out that eventual album i mean you know what's next is the tour <laughs> that's always been the goal yes <laughs> it really has. Has. um you know florida um assisted living homes when we're in our uh, six months. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, maybe by the time this is over, we might just become like just right into that. <laughs> We're going right, yeah. Yes. Yeah. The kids are yeah. from us. Yeah. Mom, mama. Yeah. We're getting good at the distance learning right now, so that won't be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, before you all come with us. <laughs> I, I yeah I I've got some roadie experience. I could definitely set up a mic. Uh, you know I can run some XLR cable. I've done it before. So tour manager. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I could pull that off. I've watched uh, almost famous enough to know what to do. <laughs> so, Tiny dance around the bus. Tiny dance around the bus. Yeah. It's, uh, yes. Exactly. It's yeah. Just singing along to Elton John. A lot of yelling and then running your bus through a fence. It's not. It's very easy. <laughs> It, uh, it's it's uh, it's very easy. Um, before all this hit, um, I know you. I think you were going to release a song like a month be beforehand. Before all this hit, mm -hmm. uh, were you planning to do like a party, or was there going to be a, a today? A actually, yeah, today, today was the day. At Danny Clinch stu uh, Studios. Oh man, over at the Asbury. Yes, yeah. we were yeah. so excited about that too. You know, you know yeah, we're like friends and family, and our big release party, and. You know, we were supposed to release back in April, and right. that's when everything went down. And we kind of just 
had this mm. moment of just, it didn't feel right. The timing just felt mm -hmm. like it wasn't the right time anymore. The meaning of the song and our momentum and how we felt about things, it just felt like it wasn't, we worked so hard to do something and then to mm -hmm. just have it like, you know, just throw it out there without having the right heart and, you know, feeling. Mm -hmm. So we decided to kind of hold back, but this feels right now. You know, it's funny how, you know, after a month's time now, all of a sudden where we felt like we didn't want to get out of our pajamas and we didn't want to like leave the house now, like we're ready to go, <laughs> you know? Yeah, and uh, there's a there's a very well written press release out there, uh, which I'll, I'll I'll put up. Uh, but you guys mentioned the timing actually is actually kind of good. Yeah, you know, uh, mothers are at home, uh, yeah. homeschooling their kids. Uh, they're you know, um, your responsibilities have kind of increased uh, like tenfold at this point, and um, uh, so the song might even be more relatable now. Yeah, and, uh, and a great outlet for a lot of mothers out there, uh, which is why you should head on to. Spotify and Bandcamp and Linktree and uh, and run it a million times. And yeah, for Mother's Day, Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Yeah, I mean, I think Mother's Day began for Mother's Day weekend. Yeah, Mother's Day. Sure. Something to get me through is like putting on music and and dancing. So it's been really fun. This is a really fun song to blast and like dance around, like bop around too. So yeah. Yeah, that's amazing, and a happy Mother's Day to all of you. So it's <laughs> coming up on, <laughs> up on Sunday. Um, I'm stealing a I'm stealing a couple questions actually. These are very general, but I did a podcast earlier this morning, and the guy asked me, he was like, "Hey, what are your top three albums?" And I never really thought about it before, mm -hmm. and uh, I had to kind of. I, um, it didn't take me that long to pull them out, but um, uh, Kim, I'll start with you. If I, were, if I were to ask you your top three albums, could oh, you? Grab mine. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh, this is always a hard one. Oh, it, I feel like it changes. I don't know. It's, yeah. it's like it depends on like the like where I I think I am. Like, right, um, currently. Um. Oh gosh, I've been so into the Lumineers. I have to oh, say okay. they are like my my go to. I think just for like their vibe right now. They're I I, I just definitely Lumineers. But like it depends on like the years. Like when I think about like. Teenage years, um, Tori Amos for me, like with piano <laughs> and stuff was like my, like, you know, my go-to and, you know, it just depends, like, you know, where I was, but um, definitely right now, I'm definitely the Lumineers. Uh, 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 Maria, do you have three or do you have a one or two or three that you, you could name off the top of your head? Um, well... Faith No More has like always been one of my favorite bands. And I think Angel Dust is my favorite. Um, White Pony, Deftones. And then for something current, I would say Porches, The House. Awesome. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Beth, do you have three you can name off the top of your head? Oh, no. Me? I, I know. It's tough. It's possible. <laughs> I mean, I think the one that the album I have probably outplayed, it, we're literally talking about an album. I think, well, the two were anything Pet Shop Boys in order. I mean, those are the ones I put on repeat and I still go back to them. But as far as the people that I just idolize still, I am a huge Karen O fan. I think the Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs are just fucking glorious and everything she's doing on Instagram playing in her closet right now. I just, I love her so much and, um, and danger mouse and I love Alabama shakes. I think there's just a lot of really, yeah, I don't know. I can't pick three. I know. I know. I can't. I can't. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Carrie, do you have three you can pull out? I feel like I am like the classic rock dated member of the band. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I uh, I don't know. I am like, you know, I I loved Def Leppard and, you know, the Hysteria, Hysteria album. And uh, now I've just been playing Fleetwood Mac on repeat mm -hmm. rumors and, and Stevie Nicks, like her old stuff, like in the 80s. Like, I can't wait. And like all those, I don't know, songs have been on repeat. So that's what I'm feeling lately. That's awesome. Uh, Def Leppard and Hysteria is my very first CD. Like not my oh, yeah. album, but yeah. when CD players oh, came yeah. out. I was trying to decide that between that and a, and a U2 album, and I, I picked mm -hmm. Hysteria, and I think that I made the right choice. Uh, nothing against U2, but... Do you know we played that? I we did. We played it. So fun. <laughs> <laughs> we played that once. Yeah. 
Uh, Renee, yeah, do you have three albums you could pull out as your I top mean, three? I'm like, I, I mean, it's funny. So I just grabbed three actual albums because I'm, I listened to albums, like actual physical vinyl. But um, I would say just, I, I probably am the most manic of the music listening. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Beth too. You listen to all kinds of music, right? But Lately, I've, I've been listening to this Lauryn Hill album. That's a great album. Yeah. It is so good. Such a great album. The whole album is amazing. Okay, that's that yeah. one. I love that you have these albums. <laughs> I just love it. This is like one of the first three that I've been listening to a lot. And then I'm obsessed with Betty Davis. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Real hot. <laughs> And then my last one, this must be like my, I know, like this must be my, oh, see? Yeah. It's just so good. That nasty, the I can't find it right uh, up there. Daddy. It's so <laughs> angry and sexy and, and her time is amazing. So and good. This no, is okay. like totally on the no, other okay. side of spectrum wise, but I think it's just as soulful as it's the band. <laughs> 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 I love this album. The brown album. This is one of my favorite. So it's funny. Like I'm all over the place. <laughs> I know. There's, there's too many. I don't have. I know. I know. It's a beautiful black women, and then these like bearded white guys from the south. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, mean, I think that just speaks to the range of music and taste, and just uh, you know, you can love every. There's so much out there, and you can love everything. And there's good, and there's bad. And there's amazing, and there's mama drama, which is <laughs> for, for sure. And uh, I think my only complaint about Lauren Hill was that album's so amazing, and she did. Uh, I think she did. Uh, 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 I think the MTV Unplugged as well, and yeah. then she took this huge yeah. break because I think all she wanted to do was sit around and smoke weed for, <laughs> for a couple of years. And, I was like, Man, you know, but that's that's her her process though. Like, what are you gonna do? So yeah. that uh, yeah. that's amazing. That's what we should do. And, uh, and, and I really love when Carrie, uh, Carrie, you, you're, um, you're, you're, you have that whole what is it like playlist? You're the brand groupies playlist. Oh yeah, the quarantine. Laugh, like, I love listening to it because it's so funny. Like there's so many songs that are. It's great. <laughs> it's all over the place. It's all over the place, but it is. But it's totally speaking <laughs> to what's happening now. It's so yeah. funny. Stand back is a good one. From, yeah. Is there a brand groupie? Is this on Spotify? Is it public? It's a, it's a brand groupie's um, playlist. It's on Instagram. Well, we can right? share it now like online. Hours hours long, I think. It's amazing. So it's exactly four hours, but it, it has everything from Spotify. like Eddie Money to, um, you know, Alice in Chains. It's like such a mix, but it's a quarantine playlist. <laughs> That's amazing. I'm going to have to. Field. I'm gonna have to look that up. Yeah. Um, Carrie, I was gonna ask you uh, uh, if Mama Drama could be summed up in a song. Um, what song would it be? I'm I'm flipping your. Oh question. my gosh! <laughs> oh, that's a Carrie question. Oh, it, have, you, have you ever oh, thought about it? It's funny. I I was singing um, to the boys earlier, and I don't know. It just came out, and it was like just saying instead of girls just want to have fun, moms just want to have fun. <laughs> So I was like, that's it. I was just, you know, moms just want to have fun because I was trying to explain the song. You know, they were so excited when I said it's on TikTok, it's on Spotify. And they're like, really, mom? Like, it's really on TikTok? Yeah. And uh, they just thought that was so cool. And I was trying to explain to them, you know, it's, it's because we want to have fun too. Like you play video games, like this is, you know, mommy's fun time. <laughs> you always used to joke too with the moms are back in town. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. Yeah, like we're back. Like you yeah. know, sometimes you lose who you are a little bit when you become a mom and all this stuff. And now, like we're you know we're back. We're here. We're we're ready. <laughs> I, I love it. I think that's uh, that's a word I use to describe you guys too. You guys are all fun. Um, uh, your your love and passion and energy uh, always uh, it, it always comes out. You know, even when we're just talking. But when you guys are together yeah. playing music in in a band, um, it's like a thousandfold. And uh, I uh, I miss you guys. I miss seeing you guys play live. I when I'm home, the few times that I'm home and you guys are playing, uh, I, I'm I'm there and I'll always be there. Thank and uh, I, I just want to give you guys huge congratulations on this uh, this Thank monumental you. day. Thank you, man. You're so 
And uh, anybody watching or listening to this, yeah, um, hop on. There's a, there's a link tree, uh, link tree slash mama drama band, mama drama band.com. Uh, head over to Spotify, uh, just search up MILF, Mama Drama. Uh, get those play counts up, everybody. <laughs> uh, you know, make sure they, they get their, their seven cents uh, for the year. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Shut up. <laughs> Animals are attacking each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These, yeah, these, uh, these moms have college educations to pay for. So, uh, <laughs> oh um, <my> God. <laughs> uh, did, I, did I miss anything? Is there anything else? Uh, is there anything I left out, or is there anything else you want to um, you want to mention? We're working on a little video. <laughs> All right, what was that? We will. Uh, Maria is uh, directing a video. A very low budget music video okay yeah. okay yeah i forgot yeah i see there was a Quarantine teaser, style. Quarantine teaser. Style. there's a teaser on youtube if you uh search uh milf teaser mama drama uh which you saw in the beginning of uh of this uh this live stream um but so there will be a video yes yeah and we filmed that all in our own homes during course <laughs> Yeah, it's all cell phone. Uh, it's Renee, all that's, cell that's gonna, yeah. Renee, that's going to be a parent. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's laughs> <very obvious. laughs> <laughs> yeah, you video. And, and you people, I think, will appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's going to be fun. The mom things in leather. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I can't wait. And uh, yeah, I guess Beth, that in the teaser, I guess that's your laundry room. You have very colorful underwear. So, <laughs> flying, <It's> flying, <laughs> it's flying all, all over the place. Gotta work with what I got, man. <laughs> well, Beth, well, Beth, you have a lot. So, <laughs> you got it, Beth. <laughs> uh, I you love you. It. Thank you guys very much. Uh, again, everybody, go to momandramaband.com for, uh, you know, hopefully we'll all be back together again. Uh, we'll, we'll, you'll be playing live again. You'll be in the studio again. You'll be back to the practicing weekly again. Um, I'm hoping it's not that far off. Yeah. Um, but until then, uh, I can put MILF on repeat and uh, it'll be like <laughs> in my house. So. <laughs> Maybe Maybe the power song. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank uh, thank you, you, Kim, Maria, Beth, Carrie, Renee. Uh, I know you got families to get back to, but uh, thank you so much for joining me for this. And uh, again, congratulations. <laughs> thank you. That's me. Bye. Mama drama, everybody. Thank you guys so much. Bye. <laughs> Bye.